I started the project, as you know, a couple of months ago. Now the car was in a drivable condition. It was very bland, everything was rusty, and effectively I had to strip the car down, and it was just a complete rebuild from that. The first month was spending taking stuff apart. You know, we had the engine out. That took a long time to get prepped, take all the parts off. I've had all four displacers out. In terms of the jobs, there isn't really anything that I haven't done. So as you can see, these wheels are still original. These were pretty rusty. I spent hours cleaning these up. The badges were, you know, they were completely gone. Got some little Riley caps as well. You know, really just making the wheel itself aesthetically pleasing. Very happy with the spray job. It's phenomenal. Like that, that, that line you, look, you can see down the car, it's, it's just so smooth, so flat. I'm so happy. The 1300 badge was snapped in half, so I did source a new 1300 badge on eBay. That looks fantastic on there. It was essential to make this chrome work as shiny as I could make it. Many hours went into scrubbing, just literally trying to get it up as much as I could. One of the tasks whilst cleaning it was finding out where my oil leaks were. It's about as oil leak free as, as this engine comes now. Another essential part was just, you know, bringing it back to that original BMC green. Um, I did find the paint for that um, on eBay and I did bring it back to its original colour. I'm really happy with the way the engine looks. The inside, really, it's just a lot of cleaning. I love how it was originally. It's pretty old school, pretty, you know, attractive looking. One thing I did change, I thought a nice walnut with a Riley badge would look fantastic. It just adds that extra touch. The most fun part of the whole project was really just sourcing the parts. Little details on the engine, you go, oh, and this just makes it look so much better. I found a chrome rocker um, cover. I come across that and I was like, that looks amazing. For me, that was fun, you know, really sort of giving that car the little styling edge. The actual selection of parts on eBay was just crazy. The most difficult and challenging bit was actually just having the understanding and the patience. First time I unscrewed one of the bolts, I smashed my finger, so that was a good start. So it's a bit of a war wound um, you know, as part of the project. I wouldn't want it to be any different. The whole process has been educating and you know, I, I now feel like I can really understand my car. I'm chuffed it's now finished and it's back on the road. I mean, driving this is so pleasurable. You can't help but have a little smile on your face. So yeah, there we have it. This is um, the Riley Kestrel restoration.